Hi, my name is Brandon Arts and I'm the Lead Solutions Architect here at ESET North America. Today, I'd like to talk about the plugins we're developing for some of the various Professional Services Automation, or PSA, products. The primary features of our PSA plugins revolve around billing and ticketing. In the case of billing, the plugins monitor your ESET Remote Administrator server and commits the number of seats per product per group to the PSA. For ticketing, the plugin monitors the membership of various dynamic groups in the ERA server. Dynamic groups are configured for certain conditions. For instance, computers with out-of-date virus signature databases or active threats. When a computer enters a dynamic group, the plugin is able to create a ticket for this computer in the PSA. The plugin allows you to map dynamic groups to priorities, so each ticket created can be assigned a priority level and the appropriate action can be taken. To use the plugin, it must be installed on a Windows machine that has a network path to the ESET Remote Administrator server and the PSA product. Supported Windows versions are Windows 7 and later or Windows Server 2008 R2 and later. The chosen machine must also have .NET Framework 4.6. Once the plugin is installed, the next step is to configure it. In this video, I'm going to be configuring the plugin for my ConnectWise instance. However, many of these steps are applicable to the other PSA plugins as well. You can find more information about other specific PSA plugins at ESET.com. Let's make the connection to our ESET Remote Administrator server. First, click Options and the Add button. Type the host name or IP address in the ERA server field. Provide the server version, port, username, and password. Finally, Click the Test Connection button to verify that the plugin is able to connect to the server before clicking Add. Next, we must set up the connection for our PSA product. In this case, we're using ConnectWise, so we must specify the API public and private keys, company name, and the fully qualified domain name of our ConnectWise instance. Finally, click Test Connection to test and save the values. By default, this tool syncs with the ERA server and PSA product every 10 minutes. You can adjust this setting from once per minute up to 24 hours. For initial setup, let's force the first sync. Click the sync button and choose the both option from the drop down menu. One of the first steps you'll want to take after connecting your plugin to your servers is to map the groups found in the ESET Remote Administrator to the accounts found in your PSA product. Navigate to the Accounts tab to manage these mappings. In this case, I have two ESET groups that should be matched with ConnectWise accounts. Select the group name from the table on the left, and finally, select the company and agreement on the right table to perform the mapping. Next, let's map the services in our ConnectWise instance to the ESET products that your clients are using. Navigate to the Services tab. In this case, my clients are using ESET Endpoint Antivirus and ESET Endpoint Security. Start by selecting the product type from the left-hand table and match it by selecting the correct service from the table on the right. As mentioned previously, ticketing is performed by monitoring the membership of dynamic groups in the ERA server. In the plugin, you must specify the priority so the plugin knows which groups to monitor for ticket creation and what priority to assign to each ticket. In this example, there are two dynamic groups that I wish to monitor, problematic computers and not activated security product. Computers will end up in problematic computers if the ERA detects that they are reporting a functionality or protection problem. 
If you wish, you can create your own dynamic group that monitors for a highly configurable list of conditions. Just like accounts and services, groups are mapped to priority by selecting the group name from the left and the priority from the right and clicking the map button. Now that all of our mappings have been set up, the plugin should be functional. The Adjustments tab contains a running log of adjustments that have been made for each account by product type. The Tickets tab will display a list of tickets that have been created as a result of machines entering the dynamic groups that we specified in the previous steps. Last but not least, there are a few other features worth mentioning. In the Tools menu, you can launch the ConnectWise or ESET Remote Administrator UI in your web browser. You can also import and export your PSA plugin configuration using the appropriate buttons. In conclusion, we hope that the PSA plugins help meet your needs for making the billing and ticketing process easier. If you have any feedback, as always, you can use the Feedback button in the plugin to give us comments and suggestions or request additional features for future plugin builds. Thank you for watching.